Okay, uh, let's begin by setting the grade weights and kicker locations as shown in the manual on page one. The process here is very simple. We press the preset key and it's asking us for grade number one, which will also be kicker number one. If we want to view what the current weight for grade number one is, we press enter. Current weight programmed in is 70.8. If we want to change that, we can press the asterisk and then punch in the desired weight. And then press enter, and that locks it in. Press enter again, gives us grade two. Grade three, Grade four, the process is the same for all five grades. And then here we have the reject weight. You notice the reject weight is the highest weight of all. It needs to be the highest weight, otherwise all of the eggs will go down to the end. None of the kickers will operate. Press enter again and we go to location one. So what we're going to do is we're going to assign kicker one to location one. So we will enter the number one. Location two will be number two. Three is three. Four is four. And five is five. And we're back to weighing mode. We got, go to page two on the manual. We can select a flock. The unit is capable of keeping track of 10 different flocks. To get into this function, we press the asterisk, followed by the preset, and it gives give us the option to choose a flock number. We've been operating in flock number one, so we press the enter button. That displays what unit, what the setting is now. If we want to change it, we press the asterisk, and we can jump to flock number three, press enter. So for the purposes of this, we've been operating in flock number one. So I will go back to flock, set this for flock number one. Now to view the counts from your daily operation, we can keep the, we can get a count and accumulation for each grade. To get into this function, press the asterisk, followed by the function key, and it will tell us what we have for grade number one, count number one. Press the enter, and we've had 37 eggs. Now if we want to zero this at this point, all we have to do is press the asterisk, enter zero, and enter and that changes and that gives and that gets rid of that zeros that count out so for grade two we had 42 eggs grade three 12 grade four 33 count number five 12 no rejects here we have the accumulation for each for each grade we had, I believe it was 33, so we had 2,477 grams total for grade one. Press the enter button, and this will give us an average per egg for that, for, the, for grade one. We zeroed the count, so we have zero here. We go to accumulation two, 2,870, with an average of 68.3 grams per egg. Three, have an average 64.5 grams per egg, and so on for each grade. And then we're back in the, back in the weighing mode. Now if we want to zero all the flocks at once, Press the asterisk, followed by the zero. Press the zero button, and then 
enter. It will ask us if we want to clear all counts. And then we press yes and enter. And all counts and all accumulations are cleared at the, after, the, after that operation. And now to calibrate the unit. This is also a simple operation, but for this we have to walk around the back side of the unit. And we access the calibration button by removing this screw. And you can push the button with a something thin, small object that's non-metallic. And as we push the button, we will see the display change. Push it once, it will read setup, twice, and then the third time, it puts us back in, in the calibration menu. So, we will press enter. Now it's asking us for calibration point number one, which is going to be our no load weight. So we will put in zero. Press enter. Now it's asking us for the calibration weight. Our calibration weight is 200 grams. So we will enter 200. Then place the 200 gram weight on the scale. Press enter. and the unit is calibrated. To get back to the weighing mode, we press the asterisk. One, two, three, four times. And we're in the weighing mode, ready for operation.